seven. It's their third and final game underway. Slow drop there. Thought he'd go for the deception and in doing so really lost control of that drop shot. And these really are crucial stages. We spoke of the crucial stages at the start of the second game for the Indonesian. Again, he's got to try and get some points on the board for his confidence. Great anticipation at the net from Peter Gaida. Two. Peter Gaida trying to lift the smash back. You can see from the racket head movement that he's really trying to whip that forearm through. Could have been easy just to block the shuttle, but definitely trying to keep Hidiad away from moving yes. forwards. Love well, he didn't miss those in the opening game, Peter Gaida. It's going to be very close. Hidiak would have been struggling to retrieve. You can see that by how low his racket was. aggression that you were wanting to see more of Anthony We know that he's dangerous on the attack, the Dane, but showing tremendous defensive qualities, managing to get the shuttle back with pace. slice this time from Peter Gaida. Taufik back on his heels, couldn't readjust, couldn't drive forwards in order to retrieve it. That is incredible. Peter Gaida's net shot hitting the top of the tape. And it had to though, look where the Indonesian's waiting. Trying to play the shot, but the shuttle was just too tight to the net. talking about when you try and lift cross court off the smash certainly is you can see where Gator hits it probably only one third of the way back from the net he's going to put those away every time
Lot 5. Makes the effort to get the interception early and then two steps, drills it down. He's also turning the Indonesian so well, switching him from one side of the court to the other, making him lunge down deep on the backhand side and then hammering the next smash down the forehand side. <laughs> See how desperate they both are to keep the other away from moving forwards in the net. This time it's Gator with the attempted cross court drive intercepted by the smaller man. Deserved. shuttle make sure of the smash jump smash. Peter Gader always going to be late on that one on the forehand side. Yeah. Well, perhaps changing his mind on that one. The net shot was so loose from Gader. Definitely. Yeah. Trying to just direct it over the net. see how committed Taufik was to the forehand side. He really is anticipating the straight smash from Peter Gaeta. That means there's a gap on the other though. Call. Service fault call, service over. Service fault call. Racket head too high. Welcome Bannum, service judge. <laughs> Indonesian just having a little word with the service judge just to confirm what the problem was. Easy. 
see the intent as he rushes forwards, but that shuttle's close to the net, so elects to brush across the base of the shuttle in order to put it away. deciding at the very last moment that he should play it. And the Indonesian now back on level terms. So from that love five deficit, this backhand going straight down the line. What a shot. No player would have anticipated that. One of the best backhands in the book. And he's now in the lead for the first time in this deciding game. is getting into so much trouble with that attempted lift cross court or drive cross court. Oh, wonderful. Tremendous composure. Seems Held this shot so long. Made Taffer guess which way he had to go. Once he committed himself, just played it the other way. wonder why he, the man, hasn't done that a little more often. The, the cross-court block of the smash, playing it back to the net, but still making your opponent turn. questioning Mike Jilks. He thought that earlier on in the rally one of his shots had struck the ground before Tafik managed to retrieve it. Taking nothing away from the Indonesian, got back in the rally and kept a very calm head to play that tight spinning net shot. Gator's got to forget about it though. Refocus on the next rally. But look how flat the clear was. That enables Gator to make the interception before Tafik's recovered. Finds the gap. for this net shot to the forehand side and then the clip down to the backhand always making him move from one side to the other and Peter Gator Christensen changes ends for the final time with the advantage